Rust, a systems programming language most commonly associated with people who own ThinkPads, swear by Arch Linux, drink Soylent, and insist on telling you about memory safety in casual conversation. There's a journey all Rust enjoyers must take that transforms a baby-faced intern using Python into a blue-haired, Nix Flake-loving, unsafe block-writing Rust developer. But what macro expanded into that kind of person? It begins with awareness. You hear the word Rust and you initially think of the video game, or maybe from a conference, or that one colleague who hasn't shut up about it since 2019. You look it up. Memory safety without garbage collection. Cool. Then you see a code snippet in blackout. You tell yourself it's like Go, but with more syntax, and way more crying. So you start coping. Maybe it's because you start seeing more Rust content. Maybe it's John doing something scary with lifetimes. Maybe it's some no-boilerplate propaganda. You try and read the book. You make it three pages in before switching tabs to watch Marvel Rivals. And you start lying to yourself. Why would I ever need to use this? Go is simpler. C++ has better libraries. My company doesn't even use Rust. No one uses Rust. Meanwhile, Greg on your team rewrites an entire Python service in Rust, ships it in one-tenth the latency, and gets promoted, while you're still writing ExpressJS APIs. Skill issues. You finally cave. You're gonna try it. You copy-paste some code from a tutorial, and the compiler screams. Something about ownership, something about borrowing. You don't know what a lifetime is, but you feel like yours is slipping away. You keep going. You write a CLI tool. It barely works, but it compiles. You tweet about it. You start saying things like, it's not that bad once you get used to it. You're still lying, but now to others. Cargo pilled. You join the Rust Discord. You copy-paste 400 lines of build RS macros from someone else's repo. Your editor breaks. You spend three hours debugging the Rust analyzer, but you won't give up. You've tasted the performance. You've seen the light. You start saying zero-cost abstractions in meetings. You take four months off to go live in the villages of China to learn Tai Chi. No one knows what you mean. You don't either. But it feels so right. Finally, you become rust-pilled. You no longer use IDEs. Just NeoVim, Tears, and sometimes you just start writing on paper. Your laptop fan never turns on anymore. Your GitHub profile has a Y-axis. You have an opinion on PIN, and a strong one at that. You explain async lifetimes to junior devs like it's the plot of Evangelion. You refer to errors as recoverable or unrecoverable. And you firmly start to believe that Rust can replace every other language. Fundamentally, Rust isn't just a programming language. It's a way of existing. It took thousands of years and many iterations for us to go from fire, to the printing press, to the industrial revolution, to the final stage of humanity, writing memory-safe code. Rust didn't just change how you code, it changed how you think. It punished you, it humbled you, and in the end, it gave you power. Because now when someone asks, why did you rewrite your blog in Rust? You can just smile and say, I wanted to write one tool, compile it once, and flex forever. And if you're on this journey, crying about lifetimes, bragging about performance, you might want to check out Brilliant.org, the sponsor of today's video. Brilliant is an online learning platform with thousands of lessons across math and science. The best way to learn is by doing, and Brilliant has the perfect mix of challenges, quizzes, and puzzles to keep you engaged and learning. I personally love Brilliant's data courses. They use real-world data, which is crucial to actually apply your learning. Plus, it's designed for learners of all skill levels. Their course covers everything from data visualizations, algorithms, and regression models. These courses are also crafted by an award-winning team of academics and professionals from MIT, Stanford, Google, Microsoft, and more. To try Brilliant for free, visit brilliant.org slash bigboxsui. Scan the QR code on screen or click the link in the description or the pinned comment. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video, and thank you for your time. I am Big Box.